to News at 6 starts now. Well, after the break, a Spokane boy's talent for writing and love of Notre Dame have helped him accomplish something few adults have even done. Blue 25 count drive. A Spokane fifth grader loves Notre Dame football so much he accomplished something not many adults have even done. Jake Keyes aims high and he's created a lasting connection between Spokane and the Golden Dome of Notre Dame. Ready? <laughs> Hustle, hustle, hustle. Let's go red, red, red. Passion for the game pours from these pint sized Cataldo players. Blue 25 counter strike. Tom McKernan has coached talented young quarterbacks. But this one. Uh, I play quarterback. Jake Keyes is a 10 year old standout. There you go, there you go. Hustle back. Very smart player. I love the mental aspect of it. We do things uh, in the fifth grade that I've never been able to do uh, with fifth graders before. And Jake's done something you've probably never heard of a fifth grader doing. Yeah, author. It's pretty amazing. Jake Keyes, quarterback and published author. I mean, it's just kind of crazy for a 10 year old. Jake wrote a book about his favorite team. The Little Gipper chronicles the history of Notre Dame football. Jake just might be the biggest little fighting Irish fan there is. He even transformed his bedroom into a shrine. These two are from Era Parsegian. This is a carpet I got in in the Hammy's bookstore in Notre Dame. Brady Quinn actually signed that. There's this photo right here from Pat Terrell. This was actually signed by Brian Kelly. Jake's fire for the Fighting Irish ignited when he went to football camp at the South Bend, Indiana school. While he was there, he went to the campus bookstore to buy a book about the college team. But I didn't really see any for, uh, for kids my age. So Jake set out to write the book himself. There were times I'd walk in here, he'd have two computers going, three different books going, <laughs> and uh, actually wanting to check to see who was correct because some facts were different in different books. Meantime, Jake's dad contacted Notre Dame about using player pictures. I told him, look, my, my son is a crazy Notre Dame fan, wants to write this book, and wants to sell it in the bookstore. So what do we do? There are a lot of hoops to jump through from the university side to make sure that they actually represent the university's intentions and what they stand for. And These are the quotes and permissions from all the people that we had to contact. Jake wrote dozens of letters to former players and coaches and the permissions came pouring in. Reggie Brooks and Johnny Latner from Joe Theismann. Paul Horning from Alan Pinkett and Tom Clements. This is a permission from Joe Montana. And this one is from Rick Meyer. He sent me cards that he actually signed, which was really nice. Former Fighting Irish quarterback Rick Meyer tells us when he got Jake's letter, the decision was simple. He was wondering if he could use my name and likeness, and I said, absolutely, I'm impressed. Um, with the project he was taking on. and Notre Dame is impressed too. They've agreed to sell the Little Gipper in their bookstore and invited Jake for a November book signing. The book itself was a good concept. The best part of it was that it was written by a 10 year old from their perspective. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. What is shaking, Jake? When I asked Jake if he wants to be an author or a football player, he said he won't just settle for one. <laughs> uh, I want to be both. He said, well, mom, I'm up 5.15, 5.30, latest every day because I've got stairs to run at Joe Albee, I've got push-ups, I've got sit-ups. Herschel Walker did it this way, I can do it this way. I'm like, okay. One, two, three, Cataldo! Once he grows out of the blue and gold at Cataldo, he plans to step into the blue and gold of the Irish. Uh, I want to go to Notre Dame for college. Of course, Notre Dame. Well, you might be wondering if Jake's parents went to Notre Dame. They did not. Jake will head to Notre Dame November 3rd to hold a book signing in the bookstore. We'll have a camera in South Bend for that. Any proceeds from his book will go to fund Jake's college education, hopefully at Notre Dame. <laughs> Randy? Hopefully so.